Hello friends, in the last lesson we learned what is total internal reflection. In this video we will take some examples of it. We saw in the earlier video the angle of incidence beyond which rays of light passing from a denser medium to a rarer medium is no longer refracted but instead reflected is called critical angle. This angle is different for different medium. Let us take some examples of the use of critical angle. Have you wondered why diamonds are so shiny? As we know, diamond is very dense material. Hence its refractive index is very high, 2.42. The light enters the diamond from air, but when it tries to exit from diamond into the air, because of high refractive index, it bends away from the normal. The critical angle of diamond is very low at just 24.4 degree. The diamonds are cut very carefully in a certain special way. Thus light gets internally reflected many times before it emerges out from the diamond. So our eyes receive a lot of light and the diamond looks elegantly shiny. So the shine of a diamond is due to total internal reflection. Another example of it, the optical fibers. They also work on the principle of total internal reflection. It's a very thin fiber of about one micrometer radius made of glass or plastic. Because of this so small radius, light entering into it makes a nearly glancing incidence on the wall of the fiber. The angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle and the light gets reflected entirely. Thus light signals gets transmitted through the fiber through successive total internal reflection. These optical fibers are used for transmitting huge data. Doctors put optical fiber pipe inside patient illuminate one set of fiber it illuminates inside and the light from inside comes back through another set of optical fiber. Another example is mirage, an optical illusion of presence of water. Like travelers in desert often get tricked by it. During hot days, air just above the hot ground becomes very hot and hence its density decreases and the above air is still colder, more denser. Now imagine a ray of light coming from the top of a tree, say coconut tree. As it moves from denser to rarer medium, it bends away from the normal. So at some point I gets greater than critical angle and it gets reflected. When this ray reaches someone's eye, it appears like the ray is coming from point A dash on the ground. How is that possible? The traveler thinks that must be a reflection of a tree in the water and thus he gets tricked by thinking there is water ahead. Have you ever thought so many things can be explained or made based on the principle of ref refraction? That's all for now. Bye-bye.